we need to take the function f of theta, which is equal to 2 sine theta minus pi over 2, and graph that out. So we'll do that by finding the amplitude, the period, and the phase shift. So let's start out. The easiest one to do is the amplitude. And the amplitude is the number out in front here. This is the absolute value of that. So we want to use the positive version. So if it's negative, make it positive. So our amplitude is 2. Our period, well, the original period of the sine function is 2 pi. And then we want to divide that by the coefficient in front of the theta which is 1. So we still have a period of 2 pi. So it'll take us 2 pi radians to repeat ourselves. And lastly, we have a phase shift. And our phase shift is our back number, this guy, divided by the coefficient, which is 1. So we leave that. Now this is a right movement. So a lot of times people say it's a positive or a plus pi over 2 phase shift. If it was a left movement, we would be moving, we would say, um, it would be, if it was plus in between here, then we put a negative out in front, or we'd say that it's a left um, phase shift of pi over 2. So that's it. Now we just graph those, graph those pieces out. So let's plot this guy. So here's how, here's how I do it. Um, you could plot the original sine function but you guys know what that looks like. Sine starts at zero. So this guy normally, okay, well, actually, let me, I'll plot the sine function first. So sine starts at zero, heads up to one, back down to zero, down, and then back up again. So it looks, I missed that point. There we go. Okay, so that's the sine function right there. And this guy occurs at pi over 2, this guy at pi, 3 pi over 2, and of course that end guy at, at 2 pi. So the period remains the same. So I'm going to keep this general shape here. The amplitude increases, so normally it was at a height of 1 and negative 1. I'm now going to stretch to a height of 2 and negative 2. So Amplitude, what it's done is it's done a vertical stretch for me because this value is more than 1. It happens on the outside or after sign has impacted the variable, which means we're impacting the y values of the function. So that's going to be a, a vertical movement. So this one's a vertical stretch. The phase shift is pi over 2. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to the right by pi over 2. So this guy is going to move over. This guy move over. So the shift that's going to occur here, I'll do it in yellow, is these guys are all going to move over by pi over 2. So our new graph is going to look something. Well this will be without the amplitude, so I'll dot this guy. But now remember the amplitude makes me go up to a height of 2 and down to a height of negative 2. So let's do that in purple. So here's 2. Here's negative 2. So it's the green graph. These guys will stay the same because they're not moved. But what we've got is a vertical stretch of the green graph. And so this purple dotted line is my sine curve given by this function. And now what I would advise you do, to do is to go back on your calculator and check to make sure that this um, is the, uh, the corresponding graph. You can do that um, fairly easily, like I said, using your calculator, or you can try to use Maple if, you'd, if you're feeling adventurous.